President Mohamed Buhari of Nigeria has in several ways proven the unity of the country to be unhindered by any groups or region trying to secede from the country. The peace-loving president in his incessant efforts to make sure the established peace and unity of the country is retained has made the plan of a separationist group agitating for the independence of Igbo people in the eastern parts of the country fruitless. My question is that, uh, is it a crime if somebody says I want to leave? Why, is, why are they adamant that uh, everybody must stay together? I don't understand. Who, who told you? Is that what the constitution says? I, let us just even know that it is not possible that you don't have the right to say you want to leave. Are you of the same, uh, 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 do, you have, do you practice the same culture? Do you speak the same language? Do you eat the same food? Even if, even if at all, I don't understand this uh, holding on to all this uh, whatever. And you are doing whatever. Some people will tell you that he has the right to choose anybody he wants to choose. Then people also have rights to say they want to stay here or they want to go or to move on. Because this idea of uh, nobody has the right for, says what? Says who now? I don't understand. Is this how the constitution is being written? Because now we are hearing that uh, some people put themselves together and say, oh, this is the constitution. Which a lot of people were not part of it. Well, the indigenous, indigenous people of Biafra IPOP is a separationist association headed by Nam Dekano. It was established purposely as a mouth, mouthpiece for the Igbos in the southeast of Nigeria towards the claim a new independent nation that we majorly comprise of the Igbo people in the said region. This agitation agitating this agitation had started long ago. It was a plan initiated by Odumegu. Ojuku in 1966, which eventually led to civil war in the country. The civil war was a better experience for Nigeria, a bitter experience for Nigeria as many lives and properties were lost to the war. Therefore, no sane administrators in the country will give room for such anymore. Since the civil war has ended, there had been persistent agitations among the Igbos towards the declaration of the proposed republic. These agitations has witnessed several administrations with the individual administrators handled it with intelligence so as to avoid civil um, civil war. President Muhammad Ubari, like his predecessor, has also been managing the issue of suppression among Igbos with intelligence since he assumed the presidential seats. The said IPOP and its leaders has been employing several means, including violence, towards achieving the desired goals, but all plans were detected and destroyed by Nigeria government under Buhari's administration. Yet, the president is relentless to curb this. But he's not relentless to curb the insecurity. Even when people offer to help, he's not, he's not bothered about that. But when it comes to criminality in the north, they try to downplay it. This is the man that, he has, that somebody is saying that, uh, of course, you saw that uh, a lot of people are just behind them, whether they are following them ignorantly or sheepishly or out of uh, ignorance or because of what they want to get they can they can say whatever they want to do the recent bombardment of illegal troops identified as eastern security network claimed to have founded by nam Kano is greater achievement by president muhammad ubari members of eastern security network were recently bombarded in the in the secret training camp in olu area of imo state but they told us that it's, a, it's an audio Audio organization that uh, they are not read, that's just a mere propaganda. You see the way they are confusing themselves. So, but uh, because of that, okay, it's because of all this uh, agitation, that is why they are afraid. They are always going there. They don't want to. But see, one thing is that if you don't deal with things decisively and let all parties involved be satisfied, you are just going to be postponing the evil day. That is it. All of this uh, wishy washy and window dressing arrangements they are making, they are saying that uh, they are making peace. No, 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 no. Nobody is a kid. Nobody is a child. If you don't deal with issue so that every party, every party or all parties involved will be satisfied, we are, we are just wasting time. You are just wasting time because you cannot be pampering the terrorists. Those, they are, this is not a matter of uh, trying to say, oh, maybe you are just trying to call them because that is their, the activities that these bandits are involved in. They are taking lives. They are making the economy of this country. They are making the sovereignty of this country to be shaky. 
Bobari will rub their head, giving them two months. They should repent, giving them two months. Then within that window of two months, they can do whatever they want to do. And you will come at the other side and begin to play what? And those of you who are who are supporting nonsense, you come here and begin to, to, to send wrong narratives out there. Those people who are talking about, eh, we don't want to stay. Eh, stop saying that eh, the Fulani, whatever, are marginalizing us. The Nigeria that you are there. Now, what do you they gain now? No, what do you they gain? Because I've never seen a person who is enjoying. You will not say, no, this enjoyment that I'm enjoying, I don't want it. I just want to suffer. Nobody. And I'm always using this analogy of people going to go to other countries. Talk about the US, UK, Canada, Australia. You want to go there. Is your father or your any of your family member the, the president of that place or uh, all those uh, uh, council, let's say local government chairman or, or councillors, the way we have it in Nigeria? Is any of any member of your family that they the ones in charge of those places? But you want to go there, you feel comfortable there. But when it comes to Nigeria, it's a different ball game entirely. And some people will be telling us if you are enjoying yourself, if the how many of the uh, uh, British people or American people. How many of them have you seen, you know, moving down in their num- large numbers to come to Nigeria? Common electricity we don't, electricity we don't have. I'm just even trying to digress. So when somebody come and be telling you that uh, 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 you don't have to do this, you don't have to do this, at the expense or at the detriment of other people, some uh, who are the people who are enjoying in this country? The only people who are enjoying are the politicians. I'm now the so-called bandits because the the, the the kind of program the government has already uh, uh, lined up for them. Is something else rubbing their heads, rubbing their back, patting them at the back when they are committing offense to humanity. And you are saying that nobody should say anything about it. And as those who are accompanying them, those who are working with them, to all of them, they will never go unpunished. They won't go unpunished because this uh, injustice is too much that we cannot even. Uh, saying that uh, we want to stop as, as as we speak. When it comes to all these people, you will rush and go there. Say you have climbed them down. Yeah, you are just they are just deceiving themselves. What? Uh, because uh, these men are suspected to have been trained in readiness of the region to fight the federal government. Okay, that is why they are always after them. But what of uh, the bandits who are saying that they can invite all their bandits all over the world? To come to Nigeria to destroy it, making that statement. Everybody be, most of the most everybody just believes or just behaves as if nothing happened. They didn't hear that statement when Gumi was going about meeting with all these bandits. They said they can invite all their all their colleagues outside the country to come to, and destroy Nigeria. Nobody said anything. The same Gumi will tell us that these people are peaceful people. So when these people were speaking with Gumi, all these bandits were speaking with Gumi. Were they speaking under the influence of alcohol? Because he said when they are killing people, they, they do it or they carry out all this, uh, whatever, under the influence uh, of alcohol. But when they were explaining everything to you, you could believe them. Do you understand that logic there? But you believe them. They were not speaking under alcohol, under the influence of alcohol. But when they are beginning to commit a manner of atrocities, and they are saying only to the fact that, yes, they are the ones committing this uh, uh, atrocities they didn't speak under uh, influence of alcohol but when you want to make excuses or you want to defend them you not tell us that how many people they don't kill self what is the big deal about it the government will not go after them <clears throat> well this huge sources according to this uh, writer saying that uh, the government has um, has recorded sources by clamping down the eastern security network um that is a good it's a huge it's a huge success to them so you see that it's why they always go after these people. So like at least leave your comment below and let us know your thoughts on this.